boy, I really wish I had enough money to buy a newspaper. Hey, you hear about some events going on? No, I didn't. Is social media just not your thing? Maybe you can't afford those pricey newspaper subscriptions? Well now, there is the magical podcast. My administration and the city at large works with various organizations throughout the community and even countywide. Um, more specifically, we attend events through the downtown. We help put together projects and programs with other uh, organizations. We sit on the seats and boards for other uh, agencies, whether that's Backham or Salvation Army. Uh, we actually put together a group of nonprofits to come together and share ideas and, and share thoughts. Um, so my administration is very, very involved with the community from a grassroots, kind of boots on the ground kind of perspective. There's a lot of different resources and um, services that the city provides that we'd like the residents to know about. Um, some of them are little things like a paint rebate program. So if you're painting the exterior of your house, the city will rebate you a certain amount. Uh, you just It's very simple. You take a picture of the house before you paint it, take a picture afterwards, give us a receipt, fill out a very small application, and you get some money back. Uh, we also have a Barberton Services Relief Program. So this could, if you meet the criteria, this could get you a uh, reduced amount on your utility bill and it's exact same um, application that the county uses for their homestead exemption program so you can get a reduction on your property taxes if you meet the criteria. So the criteria is the same, we were able to make it the same as the county, so basically just one application and you qualify for both. Um, so those are some of the, the programs that we have existing for residents, but there's a lot of other programs that are run through our parks department, or uh, that we have throughout the city that could help improve the quality of life for residents. It, well, every day we're out in the community. So I, we're, we are, we're community caretakers, first and foremost. I mean, yes, we, we, we have a, a mission, you know, serve, protect, and respect. And so we take care of, we take care, we do all kinds of crazy things. Um, so every day, most of our calls, we're not arresting somebody, you know, we're, we're we get called to the lockout, right? We're helping somebody with an overdose and we're pumping Narcan. You had SROs in every school building today, you know, like trying to help take care of the kids, help come up with resources, uh, pushing cars, you know, out of the way, uh, doing welfare checks. It, it's just, it's baked into our job and what we do. And so, and we just go out and do that every day. That's the expectation. That was the expectation when I was hired. And that's the expectation we have for the officers today to, you know, when you get called, people generally aren't having the greatest day, right? Something's wrong, right? We just kind of, you know, we get invited, right, to uh, people's homes for whatever reason. It's generally not just to have coffee and hang out, right? So uh, when you get invited, what can you do to leave it better than you found it? And it's, it's just almost like it's an approach to how you view your job and how you, you know, go out and serve the community. We do all kinds of stuff. So like we, we have, uh, if your kid's in barber school, they're going in, they're in kindergarten, uh, they're going to get uh, Safety Town. You know, you're going to get it in school. That's cool. Uh, if you need resources, the SROs are in the schools. We were just over, we did Got Game for the kids. Uh, this weekend, you know, an example of the different, it's not just this program or that program, it's almost like we're constantly trying to, you know, serve and do something. This weekend, um, if, I'm not sure when this will get out, but uh, we're having a drug take back. So if you have old unused prescription drugs of any type, just bring them down to the old First Merit building on Saturday. And the Kiwanas and us will be there and we will we'll take your pills and we'll dispose of them safely so they, they don't go into the water system, they don't get diverted or misused, you know, or abused or sold or the dogs eat them or the grandkids eat them or, you know, all the bad things that can happen with, you know, prescription pills. So we, we do, we're, we're constantly doing things like that. We're definitely, we're cross-trained, so we're obviously firefighters and paramedics, uh, so we kind of respond to whatever call comes in. Depends, you know, what truck we take. Um, we also do a, a smoke detector program, so if you're a city resident, 
we can install smoke detectors in your house for free, uh, keep you safe, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, we do different, different types of activities. We do raffles, we do uh, different types of scholarships. Uh, we try to, try to put ourselves out there. We go shopping at the, the grocery stores, uh, you know, just to kind of show, show the community that we're out there. Support business, local businesses. Definitely support local businesses. Uh, you, can, you can find us at different restaurants, you know, selling tickets or, you know, just kind of getting to know everybody. My name is Sarah Granville and I'm the Teen Services Librarian. I'm in charge of selecting all of the materials that are in the teen room, so the books and audiobooks and magazines in there that people check out. I'm picking them. Um, I'm also developing the programs that people come to. Right now, some of the things we're offering for kids in grades 6 through 12 include a monthly cooking class, book clubs during the school day at the high school and the middle school. We do art, different art programs. We're doing some writing programs. There's a monthly program in the evening that's on different topics. The one we're having Tuesday is Five Nights at Freddy's themed. Um, in January, we had a Barbie themed program where we showed the movie and had related crafts. We try to have lots of stuff to do for them. So it's not just reading. Um, we have the arts and crafts tables and you know, for the little ones, it's good to practice cutting with scissors and stuff like that. We've got all these games here. We've got stuff for the younger kids, stuff for the older kids. Um, so we try to make it more than just books um, so that there's other stuff for them to do. We have a small maker space over there that's got some, some technology things. So I hope that it, it, it makes an impact on them. As far as a student's future, um, when they start with us in the Barberton City Schools, you know, there's an emphasis on becoming a strong reader and a good student. Um, they're well versed in math, uh, reading and writing, that authentic literacy, if you will. Um, so ideally, uh, when students progress through our district, um, they receive a very good education, solid education, and something that's going to allow them to further their career or to further their life in a productive manner. And I do believe um, there are, you know, if there's an interest um, or a direction that a student wants to go, that our school district will do the very best to make sure that student's on the correct pathway. And if there are any bumps in the road, you know, we certainly have plans and ideas about that as well. We want to be flexible and try to help our students to the best of our ability. So thinking of the school district and how it gives back to the community, um, I mean, in a sense, we're preparing our future citizens, correct? Our students are future citizens of the city of Barberton. Um, the schools play an active role in that, and the city plays an important role in that, too. Um, we have partnered with the city on a few projects. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is the municipality class. Um, we have a class where some of our students, um, they go to the city building um, at various times during the year, and they learn about different occupations and employment with the city. So that's an example of a partnership. Um, but the schools overall, um, we're, we're in charge. We're one of the largest employers in the city of Barberton. And once again, our main goal is to prepare um, our children to be productive citizens for the city of Barberton in the future. Stay in touch, uh, whether that's checking out our website, um, checking out our social media pages, contacting our office if you have any questions. Uh, you can contact us at 330-848-6719 or email us at mayor at cityofbarberton.com. Or if you're out and about and you're downtown, you can always come into my office. If I'm not in a meeting, um, I'll meet with you. Um, it's very important that uh, we're transparent and that we meet with residents and we answer the questions that, that they have. Um, and we get some, some pretty off-the-wall questions at times, and that's okay as long as we're able to inform the residents. Um, that's part of our job. And that is it for our magical podcast. For Media Productions, I'm Olivia Wagner.